it's kind of because uh, DJ Academics is a meatball to me. So he, he says stuff. He says some stuff about Chicago. Rub me the wrong way. Yeah, he's a buster. He's he, a weirdo. It, it, Nick, it, niggas will whoop his ass in real life. He's, just, he behind the, he behind the camera. And you guys just let clowns be clowns, man. Like, Ooh, I, yeah. I, was on, I was on Everyday Struggle. Mm-hmm. And I walked out just because... You know, I just I'm not a clown. I don't I don't I don't come from that world of like you make jokes about we used to fuck niggas up, excuse me. Are we live? We can bleep this. We used to fuck niggas up for trying to film fights. Right. Yeah. In the hood. Yeah. Nigga, you fight. What you doing with the camera? We gonna make you fight, nigga. Yeah. Fuck wrong with you, boy. Yeah. We ain't covering no drama. That's called instigating. Right. And what's up with you? Why you at it, nigga? Right. So, you know, niggas like him get weeded out quick. He he got a little internet run he going on, but you know, he just got to let himself destruct because he, he's on the path. Check it out. Check it out now. All right. All right. Let me address this. Uh, Nipsey Hussle. I wasn't going to speak on this ever, really, just because out of just class. By the way, I'm going to give you the full truth. Y'all know how I don't lie. But um, basically, Nipsey Hussle was on a, I believe, a radio show or a talk show in Chicago. I don't know who the host is. Looks like he has some issue with me. Whatever. But uh, Nipsey Hussle, when my name came up. Nipsey also had less than kind words to say about me, okay? Basically, he said that, yo, I was supposed to be on Everyday Struggle. I walked out. He's on some bozo shit, this, that, and the third, instigating, blah, 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 blah. Okay, now, let me give you out what actually went down because he just gave you the abridged version. Let me give you the full version. Y'all know I love to talk, so take a seat, get some popcorn, pause the video, and listen to the story. Now, if you guys don't know, I do a show called Everyday Struggle. Okay, it's a show where, it's a debate show, we talk about hip-hop topics, topics about rappers, newsworthy topics, okay? Are some of the topics gossipy? Yeah! By the way, it's a full-on show that's produced by multiple people, okay? We have a person that, their sole job is to come up with topics. So every morning when I go in, Okay, after being up on my live stream, I go in and they got a rundown of shit we're going to talk about. You know how they come up with these things? They come up with them by looking at the news cycle from the day before. Okay, so if someone drops a big song, like say Drake drops a big song, you're going to talk about it the next day. Okay, if there's a big event that happened, unfortunately, if somebody gets jumped, if somebody got shot, if something noteworthy happened to a rapper or something happened to hip hop, we're going to talk about it now. Nipsey Hussle was on his press run for Victory Lap, an album that came out like two weeks ago, did pretty good in sales, if you don't know he's signed to Atlantic now, he booked and he confirmed to come up to Everyday Struggle. Now, I understand rappers be on their promotional run shit and clearly he wanted to come up to speak about his album, however, we're not an interview show, I mean, if you guys never watch Everyday Struggle, it's a debate show, it's a topic focused show. We don't care if you're President Obama. We don't care who you really are. We're going to talk about what's hot for the day, but of course we're going to address what's going on with you. So if you have an album, we'll, prep, we'll, we'll promo it or talk about it at the beginning or the end, but we got to talk about topics. Now, this is what happens. So the morning Nipsey saw us coming, by the way, I don't believe I've ever said anything negative about Nipsey that he might feel this way. Also, to keep it real... The only critique I've ever had of him, and it was like a joint critique of him and um, YG, they had made a comment to say, if people don't get that fuck Donald Trump song to number one, they're not doing their job. And I'm like, come on, come on. You can't just make a song saying fuck Donald Trump and hope everybody support it because they don't like Donald Trump. Make a really hot song and then that'll go number one. Only critique ever. Anyway, more than enough everyday struggle. I'm basically there, uh, Nipsey and his whole crew, they are in the green room or whatever the case is. Uh, we have our separate room that we're in. Basically, our producer goes to Nipsey that he's not blindsided and says, hey, check out the things we're going to be talking about, okay? Apparently, either Nipsey's rep, uh, PR person, whatever, didn't really convey to him what type of show it is. He looks at the he looks at the rundown, and by the way, this is a day after Takashi got into a fight at L.A. Very big topic, at least for that day in hip-hop. Takashi was like, he got in a fight with some other guy. Everybody was talking about it. The next day on Everyday Struggle, you have to talk about it, right? Now, it's the first thing that's on our rundown, on our topic rundown. Now, I guess our producer shows him the thing and says, yo, these are the topics. Now, in addition to Takashi getting a fight, we're also talking about Birdman and his documentary. We're talking about some other things. I think Diddy, we're talking about a, a, a wide a variety of topics. But the rundown started with probably the biggest news of that day. Nipsey says to our producer, 
I ain't talking about Takashi. I don't want to talk about him. Period. Okay. Specifically, he says, I don't want all the headlines from this interview to be Nipsey says this about Takashi. Okay. Clearly just trying to say, I know anything I say is going to be a bunch of headlines talking about what I just said about him. Okay. And again, this is where we were at. Right. So our producer comes up, says, I ain't gonna lie. Nipsey don't want to talk about nobody. Okay. So we look around and we're like, this is a debate show. Again, we're not doing interviews. We're, we have to debate. Now, I, I was even for, I said, we could cut the Takashi topic because maybe he sees stuff online and, online and he probably thinks I'm trying to bait him into a question or get him to talk about Takashi, which I wasn't. I really only wanted to ask him one question. And it wasn't even about Takashi. I was going to dive for that whole conversation to, listen, you're from the West Coast. You somebody, you about that life. What's up with this checking in thing and who got a check in? Please let me know because this is important for people who are seeing everything unfold from the the weekend of NBA All-Star Weekend and they're confused what this checking in means. So that's the question I was really going to ask him. So we didn't even have to talk about Takashi. Now, is it was it a Takashi thing or, or not? I don't know. Clearly, at first he said he was down to not talk. He don't want to talk about any other men. It's a debate show, bro. You can't come to a debate show. And again, I won't even fully blame him because clearly he wasn't up on speed with everything we did on the show or his reps didn't tell him that, hey, you're going to go there and you guys are going to do topics. So he didn't want to do any topics. He didn't want to talk about Takashi. Okay. At at first, I told him, I I said, yo, we could kill the Takashi topic. We don't got to talk about him. Okay. What about the other topics? Because I was excited to talk about Nipsey. I was excited to see him and talk to him. Now, anyway, clearly he was not into talking about anything, um, any topics that we had on the lineup, and our producers told him it's not going to work, and I believe he politely left, okay? He didn't leave saying, fuck you, or whatever, whatever. Uh, clearly, he seemed to be fine. So I thought I would never have to speak on that because, again, it seemed amicable. Maybe it was just a miscommunication. His reps didn't tell him that, yo, they do, like, topics every day. You're going to have to give your opinion on other artists, other artists' music, and just other shit happening in the culture, okay? That's just the type of show it is. I figured, or I chalked it up as, Yo, he didn't get that memo from his reps, so of course he came in not wanting to talk about people because he's just trying to promote his album, and because of that, he said, you know what, fuck it, let's not even do the show. He left. We did the show without him that day, and everything was fine. So this conversation he's having with this gentleman is very surprising to me, and and by the way, maybe this is just how he thinks in general, but regardless, it's just really no fucking sweat off my back, okay? Again, I don't know what his deal is. If it was the everyday struggle thing, maybe he saw the topics and thought I was responsible for that. No, I'm not. Okay. I mean, could I tell him to change the topic? Yeah. But a lot of times our producer knows what he's doing. Like he puts a topic that are relevant. Okay. Again, I don't know what Nipsey Hussle's whole thing is. I've said nothing but positive things about his album, but such is life. You can't expect everybody to like you. And also I will say this about other people in the media. Y'all act like y'all don't do almost everything that I do. In almost the same motherfucking way in terms of reposting content, in terms of talking about stuff, in terms of asking people's opinions, and doing hypotheticals. But of course, again, it feels like it's one of those things where the more notoriety you get, more people are going to point fingers at you for either, quote unquote, ruining the culture or, quote unquote, any other situation that arises. Again, it comes with the position that I happen to be in now. Uh, to Nipsey, I was thoroughly confused by this. Got a lot of love for your music. It's okay if you don't have a lot of love for me. I wish you the best. And, I mean, his album was still good. Y'all could go check it out. But I just wanted to explain that because I know anything negative about me goes super viral. And when there's no explanation, people say this is fact. When, I'm like, what? No, no, no. Alright, anyway, get in the comments. Make sure you guys like them, subscribe. I don't know. Oh.